So, Lucy, I think the first question everybody wants to know the answer to is, are you single? <laughs> no, I'm not. Oh. All right. Next, next, next. That's hilarious. Uh, <laughs> that's right. Thanks so, for asking, though. That's right. <laughs> Much appreciated. <laughs> I could have found you somebody probably through oh, television. Thanks. Power of television. That would be colors. fantastic. <laughs> so, what's it like working with Anthony Wallow? It's wonderful to work with him. Um, I was lucky enough to work with him on a little night music earlier this year for Opera Australia. So we we already knew each other very well, and he's been a, a friend of of my family's um, and worked with my parents since I was born. So I've known him my whole life, um, and so yeah, going into this rehearsal process was was wonderful. Having already having that you know natural rapport that I had with him, but uh, on stage it's you know. I learned so much by watching him act and sing. His singing is like no other. It's just the voice of an angel. And um, he's, yeah, beautiful to work with. I got chills from both of you just watching this rehearsal oh, today. Oh, good. Do you want to step forward a little bit into the light? Sure. You've been performing in previews for a week mm, now. Yeah. How's that been? It's been great. It's been fantastic to finally have an audience in and... There was a wonderful moment the other day after the matinee when we had a bit of a rocky start to the week because Anthony tore his calf muscle mm. and so he was off for, for the first weekend of shows. Um, but his r understudy, Anton Berezin, remarkably went on in the most huge role and did a fantastic job. And there was this this man sitting in the front row who, was, who had uh, dr driven down from... A northern New South Wales somewhere rarely goes to the theatre at all and he was there with his wife and he'd um, taken her to see the movie when it came out in 1965 and he never goes to the theatre and he was sitting in the front row and we were doing the curtain call and he just got up and went wonderful <laughs> and we all just burst into tears and just went it was so beautiful oh, to beautiful. see that and that's the reaction that we're getting from so many people it's just mm. Very, people are very moved by, by Lucy's score. Lucy Simon has written the most wonderful score. Um, and it's a joy to be singing it every night. How many hours a week do you rehearse for this sort of thing? Well, at the moment we're doing, we're doing sort of 48 plus hours a week because we're doing performances at night, but we're also being called in early in the day to do uh, changes, rewrites, cuts. Mm all of that kind of stuff but that's you know that's what comes with a new musical so it's it's fantastic to be able to to experience that firsthand rather than doing something that someone else has done on the West End or Broadway mm. and it's not a show by numbers um, so yeah it's been fantastic. You studied at WAPA. Yes. Did that prepare you for the real thing? Yeah absolutely it's, it's an incredible training uh, for for the industry um, one thing that I think they need they need to do at Whopper is to, to get you to understudy because I the first thing well, one of the first things I did when I came out of of uni was was to understudy but apart from that it it was the most wonderful three years I could have spent I loved it. How old are you, Lucy? I'm 25. You're doing an excellent job and you are going to blow people's hearts out of their chests. It's going to be fantastic and I'm so definitely much. buying a ticket. Great. Thank you very much. Lovely to meet you. Thanks very Thank much. You. Hi, I'm Lucy Maunder and you're watching the Theatre Network.